sorry about the stuff right there. Not my stuff. I'm just saying. Hey guys, Doran25 here back on. <coughs> Did I just go back to the past? Okay. Clear my throat first. So there's these chocolates from Hawaii that taste really good, and they only sell them in Hawaii. They're from their kisses. Hey guys, it's Joan Marie back on our channel. Today I decided to do a review on the famous Maybelline foundation, Fit Me foundation. I never really tried their Fit Me line, but this is my first time. This is the Matte and Poreless foundation, Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation. I am in the shade 310, and I don't know how many shades they have, but this one is the closest to my skin tone. I will be putting down the price and all the information down below. If you guys have any other questions that are not down below, please comment down below so I could answer them for you guys. This is also not a demo because I forgot and I'm, I've been really busy. I'm really sorry about that. Anyways, this is the Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless. It's normal to oily foundation. So I'm the type of person who has really, really oily skin. So that really helps a lot. It says in the back here that it mattifies and refines pores, matches natural natural tone, natural seamless finish. And yeah, that's basically it. Sun Beige 310. So I already tried out this foundation, so if I do record a video, I'll probably do it next time. As for what I know about this foundation, it really helps with your pores and also for people who have oily skin. When I tried putting on the foundation, I think it was really good at applying just because it melts into your skin really well and it is matte and not as oily as usual. From the past videos I've seen, I I saw that it tends to get oily as the day goes, you know goes by but if you put powder it will help really well so <coughs> anyways this foundation was about under eight dollars I found it at Walgreens and it has a variety of shades but I, I didn't know what shade I was I just grabbed this one and for some reason it matched me really well so as for the foundation container it's the same as the other foundation container except this one is just I don't know is there a difference I'm not really sure but as you could tell, if the sticker wasn't on here and it took off all the stickers, you probably wouldn't know it was a Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I would think that it would have it on here. And this is, I don't know if it's a plastic glass or just a regular glass. Not really sure, I probably it is. But the bad side about this foundation is that it doesn't have a pump. So if you're a person who don't like foundations without pumps, bad side about this foundation. As for the scent, it smells I feel like there's a little per uh, a scent in it that could really annoy you, but as you put it on your face, I didn't smell anything really that bad, but there is something that's really annoying in this thing. As for the foundation, I'll be putting it in the back of my hand so I can show you how it really works. So, yeah. So it comes out really quickly, as you can tell, and I accidentally put a lot again, sadly. I'm gonna put a little bit. So, bad side about it, it is really messy, as you could tell. That is one bad side about this foundation. So as you could tell, you see the foundation, it matches me kind of, and it has a yellow undertone, which is perfect for my skin tone because I'm yellow. So yeah, it is pretty droopy if you like actually move a lot. From the container, it was really fast when it came out. So it looks like this and when you blend it in, it's supposed to give you a full coverage but when I put it on my face, it <coughs> when I put it on my face, it basically melted into my skin and it gave me medium coverage. And as you add more foundation, it will get a full coverage. And as you could tell from the foundation right now, it melted into my skin, but I didn't blend it all the way just so you guys could see the difference on camera. This foundation basically oxidizes, kind of. And at the same time, it also sets in really fast, so you have to kind of put it on really quickly, or you're gonna have lines. So as you could tell, it looks like it matches me really well, because it does. But when you go up in close and personal, you could see a kind of an orange and yellow undertone. And as you could tell, the lighting in my room just got darker. So, so the bad side about this foundation is just a container, but I love the foundation itself. It is just like wasting kind of basically because like the inside of here, if you can't tell, you are basically leaving like 2% of your foundation in the container to cap. 
so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. It's just basically a little tiny video sharing you guys a little bit of information about the foundation by itself. I would give it a 9 just because I don't like the container itself. But other than that, I would give it a 9. And I love the other things about it. It should have a pump so it would be easier for everyone else and it's more sanitary than just putting in your hand and getting a little messy. So, yeah. So I recommend it to all of you guys to check it out, especially for people with oily skin because it really helps with that. It will keep you matte. And I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys a demo. Maybe next time and I will talk to you guys soon. So peace out, Girl Scouts.